Exothermic and Endothermic Reactions Depending on the absorption or evolution of heat energy, we can classify reactions into two types, exothermic and endothermic reactions. Exothermic reaction describes a process that releases energy in the form of heat. Burning of fuel is exothermic. Endothermic reaction describes a process that absorbs energy in the form of heat. Melting of ice and evaporation of water are endothermic. Let us look at a few examples of exothermic reactions. Take a matchbox and strike the matchstick on its side. The matchstick burns giving out a lot of heat. Let's watch this dramatic example of an exothermic reaction. The dehydration of sugar with concentrated sulfuric acid. Let's take some sugar in a beaker. Add 8 to 10 drops of water to the sugar in the beaker and stir it well with glass rod to moisten it. Now measure 30 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid in a measuring jar and add the acid to sugar. Stir quickly. See that acid covers sugar. Stand back and observe. Sugar starts changing color and finally turns black and rises in a column, releasing steam and a pungent smelling gas. The black mass left behind is sugar charcoal, a form of pure carbon. This dehydration process is a highly exothermic reaction, turning water content to steam. It's time to look at some endothermic reactions now. As you know, these reactions absorb heat energy. Look at how an egg is fried on a pan. When we break an egg on a heated pan, heat is absorbed by the egg and the liquid parts turn solid. Remember, it is always not necessary to have a dip in temperature, but many endothermic reactions require constant supply of heat till the reaction gets over. Let us understand another reaction where there is absorption of heat. Pour about 50 ml of vinegar into a beaker. Place a thermometer in it and note down the temperature. Now carefully add 2 or 3 spoons full of baking powder into vinegar. Instantaneous reaction with brisk effervescence takes place and the solution almost fills the beaker. Stir the solution and note the temperature at the end of the reaction. During this reaction, heat is absorbed and temperature reduces. Therefore, the reaction of baking powder with vinegar is an endothermic reaction. Observe some reactions taking place in your everyday life and classify them as endothermic or exothermic reactions.